So, this week starting off, you know, pretty bad. Uh, we got told that a couple of the IDD clients that we have was uh, exposed to someone that tested positive to uh, COVID. Therefore, uh, we were exposed to someone who was exposed. Um, so, uh, we're still working. Uh, the rest of our clients are not going to be at work with us. Um, and the area is going to go to a more restrictive level um, Friday as it is. Uh, Colorado is not looking good. Uh, have a fear that we are going to go back into lockdown next week. A lot of people think that, especially after the governor put out that he's leaving it up to the counties if they go back on lockdown. So we're all thinking that next week he's going to say because the counties didn't go on lockdown that we're going to go, the entire state's going to go on lockdown. Uh, which will suck for some people. Uh, it'll suck for the wrestling community. But uh, it is what it is. But since the end of the clients got exposed and might have exposed some of us, uh, I have decided to pull myself out of this Saturday's Devotion Championship Wrestling Show in Salt Lake City. I let the booker know. I let both bookers know. Uh, and uh, it really sucks. It sucks. Uh, tell you why it sucks. It's because uh, this Devotion Show, since I lost the booking of uh, the IWC show, this uh this show would have been my last show for the year. It would have been my last show till February. Uh, and that is due to issues at my shoot job where we're going to be really short on manning. And because of that, being short on manning for until halfway through January, uh, we probably would only get Christmas and New Year's off knows what else we would get off uh, but there's that uh, so yesterday I put out not only am I gonna miss a devotion show but I won't be doing any shows because of my shoot job until February until February uh, still gonna be training not for two weeks because I'm doing uh, the whole two week thing because we got exposed to someone who was exposed to people who were exposed to people who were tested positive. Uh, gonna take the two weeks off from training. After that, gonna be training hard to get ready for February. And also my new custom gear that I ordered, the uh, wrestling jeans, pro wrestling jeans that I ordered from Kyla Custom Rockwear also does stuff for WWE, does stuff for Ring of Honor, does stuff for AEW, uh, they're making it, that'll be here uh, mid to late January, so before I come back in February, the uh, pro wrestling jeans will help out with the look and direction that the Irish Extreme will be going, uh, I already got the vest and the bandana to help with that look. These jeans will also help with the look. Uh, what we do in training will also help in, with the look. Uh, it's definitely going to be a different Irish Extreme going forward starting February 2021. Uh, excited to, to make these changes. Uh, but uh, tonight we'll be working out and. Uh, Doing that, lots of working out before I get back to training in a couple weeks. So, uh, working out tonight.
So, I'm leaving the tanning salon, uh, even though tomorrow I will not be at the uh, DCW show, because like I said, uh, people I work with was exposed to people who tested positive, so I did the precautionary thing and pulled out. Uh, uh, I, I still got my hair cut and I still uh, did my tanning session uh, it, it's just crazy right now uh, having to drop this uh, and not going training for two weeks as a precaution because of this but it's also crazy because TSW with the uh, heightened restrictions they canceled next week's show and they canceled uh, next month's show so they're gonna start fresh in 2021 just like myself because of the work situation I won't be available till February 2021 but it's awesome because my pro wrestling jeans should be in uh, it uh, but it never stops getting ready doing the tan and steel haircuts doing working out uh still getting ready after this two weeks hopefully we're not locked down i feel colorado is about to get locked back down Ho hopefully not if we're not after this two weeks i'm back in the rain training uh, if we are locked down figure something out <laughs> uh there's talks of uh President-elect Biden lock, doing a nationwide lockdown. Shut down wrestling again. And uh, shut down wrestling again. And uh, it is what it is. You know? But uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, lighter side this week, today. Well, today I got a uh, new mail in two packages from Pro Wrestling Tees to include to include this uh, TNT Championship pin on my vest. As you can see it's a beautiful, beautiful pin. Uh, got the uh, limited edition Kurt Angle Micro Brawler. There was only 150 of them made. Mine was number 182. Uh, put it up by my Kurt Angle pop figure. And uh, got a Kurt Angle t-shirt that I'm going to take on the triple whammy when it happens. Hopefully it doesn't get postponed again. But I'm going to take it on the triple whammy and get it signed by the man. By Kurt Angle. Uh, and then... Uh, also got a Roddy Piper graphic novel. Uh, actually got all three comics to that I need to read. So uh, get those knocked out. <laughs> uh, tonight is also Talking Shop a Main Talking Shop a Mania Part Two. Talking Shop a Mania Two. The Hashtag the worst pay-per-view ever too. Uh, I already ordered it. And uh, going to enjoy it. One of the two guys I wrestled last month in uh, Salt Lake City. Roman Roselle. He's in it. Uh, so supporting him. Supporting Roman. Uh, so, uh. It is, uh, should be a fun pay-per-view. Gonna enjoy watching it. And then, uh, tomorrow is the, uh, Fozzie concert. And I'll let you guys know how Talking Shop of Mania 2 happens and, uh, the Fozzie concert they'll watch since I am not going to DCW. But, uh, here's a look at the, uh, 
everything that I got from Pro Wrestling Tees and also got an, my order from American Rebel Cigars. So even though I didn't do the devotion show, still gave the guys my well wishes, um, and then uh, I w I watched uh, Roman Roselle, who I wrestled with at DCW uh, back in October. I watched him on Talking Chopamania Two, hashtag second worst pay per view ever. Uh, that pay-per-view uh, was really good, really funny. It's a fun pay-per-view. It proves that wrestling doesn't have to be serious. You can have fun with it. Uh, you can enjoy your time with it. It doesn't have to be serious. Uh, then Saturday, watched uh, the Chris, Jer Chris Jericho and his band Fozzy. Uh, Fozzie's uh, live stream concert. It was really good as well. Uh, they were discussing songs before they uh, played the songs. Little lead ways into the songs. Uh, and uh, judge it by the chat, it was a lot of uh, Chris Jericho cruisers. And some of the cruisers even got name dropped on the concert. So it was, uh, it was a fun concert to watch. Uh, but now uh, this week is done. Going to the second week of my precautionary isolating myself. Uh, so uh, on to next week and continue to get ready. So for our merchandise, go to www.prowrestlingtees.com backslash Irish Extreme or www.prowrestlingtees.com backslash hoodzilla inc and get these fabulous t-shirts